Hello everybody, it's Italian Pips here. Today I want to share with you my London session strategy. First of all, my real name is Luca. I day trade and I stream the London session in Italian every day for the Italian community. But let's get down to business. Oh, one thing, I apologize in advance for my English, it isn't my first language, so I will surely do some errors, but I hope the concept passes the same. So let's start. My day starts with a routine, okay? I get up at 6 o'clock a.m. UK time, take breakfast and I sit in front of the charts at half past 6, okay? I set up the stream and we start looking at charts one hour and a half before London Open. Why so early? Uh, well, there are three main reasons. The first one is that, in my opinion, it isn't early. It's not early. I would even like some time to get up half hour before because, as we can see, there are some days that London volume kicks in and breaks market structure even two hours before the open. Okay? The second reason is that I like to take movement from the beginning as my confidence decreases when I have to enter in a pattern that is already, already going, that is already developed. The reason is that we see very often fake moves and hard pullbacks before the session starts. Fake outs are very common in pre-London. And I'm afraid to get caught in one of that moves. The third reason is hands down, in my opinion, the most important, okay? It's because starting early gives me the time to plan my session, to draw my zone, my key level, to plan my trades and to then trade what I plan. And that's when the level of confidence, of trust in your trades gets stronger. And when you have trust in your ideas, you can trade. Because if there is no confidence, you can easily go to a betting sports center and lose your money in a funnier way. Okay, but let's break it down. Okay, let's talk a little bit about fundamental, uh, what I take into consideration. Uh, about fundamental, I take a fast look at the economic calendar news. I never baptize a movement uh, uh, just because uh, there is a, a little news, maybe negative, maybe positive, but we know that the market reacts randomly at small news events, okay? But I take into consideration political news. During these times, something good for Brexit is, brings usually strength into GBP. And when the EU and Great Britain can't find a deal on something, the opposite happens. Obviously, this isn't a fixed rule, okay? It's generally speaking. Let's break it down to the technical part that is the most important one how the trade the process to trade begin okay i take a look at the previous daily candle and see if you are near obviously if the previous daily candle was bullish or bearish and if you are near daily support or resistance and i check every day of the week how the weekly candle is developing okay is forming to see clearly if you are pushing in a particular direction. Why, for example? Because if on Monday the weekly candle, the daily, but the weekly candle starts to go heavy bearish and then the next day on Tuesday it pull back all the previous movement and creates a big week of rejection and maybe it has not still a top week and uh, I would like and I will pay high attention to take an entry on the bullish flip on the weekly candle, the weekly time frame, and try to ride that big push because we know higher the time frame, stronger is the bias. Maybe uh, it's not uh, said that if the weekly is pushing, we are gonna have uh, 100 pips move uh, straight into one direction, but we can have great trades with no drawdown and clean push. Okay, so this is what we aim to find in the market. Let's continue to the technical. I, after the weekly and the daily, obviously, I take a look at four hour time frame. 
which is the time frame that I, I like most, okay? Uh, I take a look uh, at the four hour candle that has formed during the Asian session, and if that candle has closed bullish or bearish, and if it broke some sort of zone or level, okay? To see what uh, happened during the night. I also try to figure out if the four hour is rejecting a zone, just like the weekly before, and preparing herself to a push in a new price zone. Obviously, then I take into consideration the one hour chart to see the pattern that is forming. If you are forming a support, if you are forming a resistance, if you are retesting a level, or if you are breaking a level. Obviously, I pay high attention with the four hour and one hour time frame if the market is creating higher high and higher low, or if the market is doing the opposite. So, if it's trending bullish or bearish, okay? The market structure is always, always very, very important in my trading style. Okay, let's continue. The last things after the weekly, the daily, the four hour, and the one hour is the M30 and M15 time frame. I use them to look for a possible trade, a possible entry on the trade. These two time frames help me to see where I can put my stop loss and finally decide if the trades can be taken. Each trade that looks good, and by looks good, I obviously mean if that trade, I, I, if I got uh, my confirms and I can take the trade, I will take it only if it has at least one to one ratio, okay? Because I aim to have a big positive win ratio, but not a high risk reward. I don't aim for that. Sometimes, I hear something that says, oh, I only take the setup if I can get a one to three ratio. Well, I'm not doing this type of job because if I'm gonna do that, my win ratio drastically gets down and uh, I'm not profitable as I am in taking also the one to one rate trades that uh, are most of my trades, okay? So I focus most on the win ratio and never try to catch up to the risk reward trades. Let's continue about the technical, okay? We got key level. What are key level? As we know, we draw fresh zone, fresh support, fresh resistance with one hour candle and M30 recent, uh, M30 candle and recent zone, obviously, okay? But there are some levels, maybe psychological, flat levels that I love to take into consideration, okay? This level are 0.900, 0.700, 500, 200, and obviously 00, zero okay? The flat. Why? Because I notice that when the market is approaching this level here, it usually reacts, okay? And when the M30 and one hour fresh song that we have uh, draw match with one of our key level, we can have great confidence in this setup. I use this level, as confluence, we could say like that. They are a great confluence in my trading side. And then there are M5 and M1, one minute and five minutes time frame, okay? I like to call them micro time frame because uh, I only use them to get better entries. When I have all the breakdown in my mind and I get my one hour M30 or M15 confirmed, Sometimes, if we need to be more precise, I take into consideration 5 minutes and 1 minute to take an entry when the level that I'm eyeing gets broken by one of them, okay? Let's make an example here, um, okay? Let's think about this as a M30 candle, okay? Okay, this is the, our bullish M30 candle, market is going bullish, but what happened? We got 0.900 here. We got this level here that is 0.900. So I would like to take a buy, okay? Because we are moving, let's think like that, we are moving, we are making higher high and higher lows. But then I get my M30 candle that goes above the level. So I would like to take a buy, but I don't want to buy resistance. So I will maybe take into consideration that the one minute chart and when the price is going, this maybe creates a down week. When the M30 candle starts to go bullish, 
I eye the one minute time frame and the first one minute candle that close above my key level, I take my entry with stop at the minimum price, okay? This is just about M1, M5, just about timing and the timing let me, what let me the timing? Obviously let me to have less drawdown and smaller stops because using this type of entries, usually you can see if your trades is working good in the next two or three minutes or so. You have less drawdown and smaller stops, usually. It's uh, better to use this time frame when the rest uh, is confusing, okay? But there is an enormous but, because if you are still learning the basics, okay? The basics of trading, forget it. It will only confuse you, okay? Because there are a lot of uh, each minute has a new one minute candle, so it's very confusing if you are at the beginning. But if you have experience, you could benefit from using this time frame to get entries, okay? So uh, we got a couple of examples here. Uh, actually, we only got two examples because this isn't a webinar on how to learn to trade, but it's just the process that I do every day. Okay, so uh, this example comes from a live trade that we took on the live. You could see this trade on my on my Instagram. Okay, the highlights of how we did take this trade. But let's take this. Let's analyze it with everybody here. So. Uh, this time below here, it's Italian time, okay? So this nine o'clock, it's UK, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, London open, okay? Okay, perfect. And this is the time when we are in front of the charts. So what we see, we see that at the Asian open, this is 2 a.m. Asian open, Italian time, okay? We did broke this level and moved well bearish, very, very bearish, and we broke 0.900. Okay, we can see that. And then the price in the early, early London session is starting to get, to go bullish and looking for a retest of this zone. Maybe we can close above and continue, or maybe we can form resistance and see what happens. Okay, so let's see what there is here. Oh, we get a one hour bearish candle. This candle approached 0.900 here, okay and rejected hard, rejected hard and did close bearish with a very, very small body, okay? And above, above 0.700. So what are we gonna do right now? Anything, anything, because the even if uh, we get the rejection and uh, this is most, most, most bearish close, the high of this candle gets broken and the minimum is still safe. So there is nothing to do right now. What there is to do, there is probably two, lower our time frame and to wait a little bit and see if we, we can have some type of confirms okay perfect this is our m30 time frame the same charts uh, we already know how this m30 is because we have seen the one hour candle rejecting the level so we already know that we have a bearish candle here uh, this bearish candle here did broke the low it did broke 0.700 but close above it close above 700 uh, so what are we gonna do probably are we gonna still wait okay because we are above this level here let's see the next candle oh the next one is a bullish candle i actually like it i like it because uh, there is uh, it didn't broke the high of the previous candle it didn't uh, form a uh, um, bottom week okay so let's see also the time because this is one hour before the london open that is as i've said nine o'clock italian time 8 a.m uk time okay so we can wait and see what the m30 before the london open did so let's see let's find out oh that's perfect that's perfect why why because this candle did what all these three previous candle can't so this candle here closed below our key level, below 700. So in planning our ideas, our trades, what are we going to say? What are we going to do? Okay, we have clean traffic here to the left. 
so probably probably we can program to take a short position if the 0.700 gets retested so the price if the price comes here in this zone okay we could take a position here knowing that there is clean traffic here that becomes our target okay and this is the stop loss above the m30 highs okay so let's see how the next candle moved perfect just perfect so we retested 0.700 it is where we did enter on our live stream okay and then we went 20 pips full tp okay so this was perfect just perfect trade at london open with the plan in all the pre london okay so uh, i also got uh, another example just one i think yeah because as i've said this isn't to learn how to trade obviously okay uh, we can see here that there is a lot of consolidation there is a bad bad market but uh, moving into the hour that into the time that matters we can see that something is happening okay so we are at the charts here it's when we come to the charts and we can see okay that the price started to go bullish this is a 15 minutes time frame so a smaller time frame than before and we can see that we are approaching 0.900 our fresh resistance the freshest resistance is this one okay and it match with 0.900 so that's perfect okay let's see uh, there are two scenarios buy if we can have a candle closing above and maybe continue but i wouldn't like that very much because as we can see we got another resistance here and this range is only four pips okay uh, so i wouldn't like the buy very much i would like to see a bearish candle right here in order to form resistance and maybe take some short position but let's see let's see. we got a bullish candle here still below the level so nothing to do Ooh, this candle is interesting this candle broke the hikes but uh, what did uh, it uh, didn't close above 0.900 and this range is still very very small very small range 3.5 4 pips it isn't enough to take a buy in my opinion so i would wait more and see if we can break this level about here okay so let's see Ooh. so one hour one hour before london open as i said this is italian time so this is 7 a.m uk time okay we can see that we approached resistance 0.900 key level and we close bearish so what can we plan what can we plan after this we can plan to take a short position if we can retest this zone here but why because this zone at 800 okay we feel we could have 10 pips short and we can have three pips stop loss this is a setup i would love to take okay and we took this live there is uh, all the highlights of the trade on my Instagram. You can find it. Okay, let's see. Just perfect, just perfect, my friend. Because what we did, we did the retest of our key zone, our key level 0.900 that match with our fresh resistance zone. Okay, we set our stop loss above this can it was a very small stop loss first TP was hit 10 pips and then a runner could have gave way more okay 20 pips uh, right there so but this is extra pips this is extra after 10 it's extra pips always okay and then we have all the movement so let's clean this let's clean this okay there are two main things to remember Okay, that I like to take into my head. The first one, it's obvious. Respect your plan. If I personally have a loss, a full loss, my full daily risk, 2%, I've done. I'm not looking at charts anymore. I can do whatever else, sports, uh, everything else, but not taking trades. That's fundamental. If I have a small loss and I'm still confident and uh, I see a stop that I like, I will take a second entry. 
that's right, that's good. Maybe with a little bit less risk, okay, but that's still good because I'm still confident in what I'm doing. After a full loss, I'm not confident anymore, okay? So I could even take a good trade, but ends up in closing like uh, uh, negative three pips because I don't trust it, okay? I have no confidence. And when you have no confidence, it's better to do other things and not trade. As we said before, sports center are good for the one who likes to bet but has no confidence, okay? And if I have a good trade, 10 pips, I'm done. That's it, no other trade. Not looking for other profits, nothing, I've done, okay? That's very important. And the second thing to remember is to focus on higher time frame. Okay? It's very important, very, very important to have in mind how the weekly, the daily, and the four hour candle are. Okay? Because they are stronger and they create the path to follow for lower time frame. Sometimes maybe you can see there is a bearish candle and 15, 15 minutes candle time frame, and then the next one just goes straight bullish. Okay, yeah, well, maybe the four hour candle was trending bullish, so okay, this is what I mean. They are strong and they create the path in the lower time frame, just follow. Okay, perfect. So, here are an image to remember this. Okay, perfect. Not consider higher time frame, that's that hurts, that hurts a lot. Okay, so we have a finish, it was fast. A special thanks to Raja, my mentor, that let me make this video, a wonderful person. And a special thanks to all the mentors, all the members inside the Forex family, because this is hands down the best community I could have found when I started. Okay? But the biggest thanks goes to the person that has watched the whole video. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your attention. And I hope you like this and maybe you have learned something, okay? So, bye-bye and thank you, thank you very much.